Hi, my name is Ed Boone. I'm the co-creator of the original Mortal Kombat and the project lead for Mortal Kombat Deception. I'd like to walk you through Mortal Kombat Deception and talk about some of the new features and modes that we put into the game. Fighting games that are fortunate enough to have warranted sequels always seem to take the expected path for each version. Our overall objective with Mortal Kombat Deception was to do the unexpected. We wanted to redefine what a fighting game is. More specifically, we wanted to redefine what Mortal Kombat is. The way we achieve this is through the content. Lots in terms of content. One of the first things you'll notice when you look at our mode select screen is the variety of gameplay modes that are in Mortal Kombat Deception. Mortal Kombat is much more than just a fighting game. It's a board game, a puzzle game, it's an adventure game, and it's all online for both PlayStation 2 and Xbox Live. One of the first new things you'll notice when playing the fighting game are the subtle lights that we've added to the power bars. We call them fight state indicators, and we put them there to give players insight to the nuances of our fighting engine. As you're playing Mortal Kombat, your fighter goes through a variety of states. By observing these lights and how they reveal these states, players will be able to pick up on when the best time is to strike, avoid, or even send their opponents to resume with an instant kill. One area we've really expanded on in the fighting game is in the design and function of our backgrounds. From the beginning, our goal was to make the backgrounds in Mortal Kombat Deception as influential to the outcome of a battle as the characters that were chosen. Deception's backgrounds are all different sizes. Some have multiple levels, some hold weapons for players to use, or contain a new feature we call the Death Trap. This background is called the Sky Temple, and it's a good example of the interaction the backgrounds have to the actual fighting. The fighting starts on the roof of a giant skyscraper of sorts. There's a very powerful warhammer in the middle of the arena that players can grab and use against their opponents. Here's another example of one of our multi-level arenas. As you can see, Sub-Zero knocking Sindel off the edge of the roof, and the battle continues on a level a few stories below. This level is one of our favorites. It's called the Slaughterhouse, and it has just about every new background feature in it. You start off fighting on the top floor, and located directly below is another arena where all the good stuff is. As you can see, Nightwolf has just lured Melina into an area where there's not only a weapon, but one of our death traps called the Meat Grinder. You might have noticed some recognizable characters fighting, as there are many returning favorites in Deception. Many of them are classics from Mortal Kombat 1 and 2, like Baraka, Melina, Nightwolf, Sindel, and Cabal. These characters all have their signature moves. Players can knock their opponents into this meat grinder, instantly winning the match and shredding them into a million pieces. Here we have one of our most interactive backgrounds, the belly of the nether ship from Deadly Alliance. In a second, you'll see what makes this background so interactive. You can see, as Kenshi is knocked down to the lower level, that there are a number of bodies hanging from the rafters. These bodies are fully interactive with the fight, and you can use them to your advantage or to your opponent's disadvantage. Notice how they swing back and forth and can actually knock down the fighters. Again, our goal here was to make the backgrounds as influential to the outcome of the battle as the characters that are chosen. Conquest Adventures is a massive expansion of the Conquest mode in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance. This time, we are actually giving the player control of the Conquest character, letting him roam freely throughout the six realms. Conquest now adds a lot of exploration and experimenting to the training and fighting mission that players are expecting. During this journey, you will be collecting and earning coins, which are the currency used to unlock hidden features inside the crypt. You will also be interacting with the inhabitants of these realms, going on mini missions, finding hidden items, as well as running into a number of Mortal Kombat characters from the past. You'll notice that there is a time and date that is running on the top right of the screen. Time passing plays a major role in Conquest, as you will begin the game controlling a character named Sujinko at age 13. He has no special moves and knows very little about Mortal Kombat. Throughout the journey, your character Shujinko will actually age as you gain experience. By the time you finish, he will be around 60 years old and will have acquired enough experience to earn him his fighting styles and special moves. After this, he will be unlocked and available in the fighting game. Additionally, the time and date play a critical role in the discovery of secrets and conquests. Certain events will only happen at specific times and locations. If you are lucky enough to be in the area, you can unlock secrets that nobody else has discovered. For example, let's say you're standing in the middle of a forest at a certain time when some character jumps out from behind a tree and challenges you to Mortal Kombat. 
Defeating that character might reward you with coins, a key, or maybe even unlock a character or background. That particular character might only be available at 4 a.m. in the forest. Instead of waiting around for things to happen, players can actually accelerate time by meditating. The possibilities are endless when it comes to the amount that can be hidden throughout the six realms of conquest. Chess combat can be thought of as a hybrid of a number of classic board games and Mortal Kombat. Like chess, the goal is to kill your opponent's king before he kills yours. Each player takes turns, strategically moving their pieces, positioning them for the kill. Unlike chess, however, when one piece tries to take a square from another, they have to play one round of Mortal Kombat to determine who wins the square. There are several different types of pieces on the MK chessboard. They differ in both their movement abilities as well as their strength during combat. The first piece is your basic grunt, which is like a pawn. Then you have your champion, the MK equivalent to a queen. A shifter is a piece that takes the form of his opponent during combat. A sorcerer can actually cast spells to help his own pieces or to harm the opposing pieces. These spells can do things like imprison, kill, resurrect, and teleport other pieces. Finally, you have your leader piece, which is the king, and this is the one piece you need to protect. You'll notice that there are two green glowing squares on the playfield. We call these power squares and they are critical in your strategy for winning at MK Chess. Occupying a power square gives you an advantage during combat, and occupying both power squares gives you an even greater advantage. You don't want to let your opponent occupy both squares. The first thing you do when playing is to pick which Mortal Kombat characters you would like to play as each chess piece on the board. During the course of play, you will need to strategize an attack, manage and cast your spells at the right time, control the power squares, and of course, protect your leader piece. This takes us to puzzle combat. You can think of puzzle combat as a combination of a color matching game and Mortal Kombat. The object of the game is to match as many same colored pieces on your board and eliminate them with a matching breaker piece. Doing so dumps those pieces on your opponent's puzzle, making him have to deal with them. The more pieces you have to manage, the more full your puzzle gets. The first player to stack his pieces to the top of his puzzle loses. Sound simple enough? With the additional rules we've thrown in, it really gets interesting. Before the match starts, players pick their MK characters, just like they would in the fighting game. Each character has his own unique special move that actually affects the gameplay. Some of these moves are defensive, eliminating pieces from your puzzle, while other moves are offensive, dumping pieces onto your opponent's puzzle. These moves can be executed when your super meter fills. Occasionally, a special piece called a bomb will fall on your puzzle. The bomb is very powerful, when it touches a piece on your puzzle, it will eliminate all the pieces of that same color. Of course, this game wouldn't be Mortal Kombat without fatalities, so we've managed to incorporate them into our puzzle game as well. Fatality. Mortal Kombat Deception is the first fighting game available online for both the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. And this time around, by popular demand, Every character has two fatalities. Finish her! Fatality.